Yo, what is it, everybody? I'm Arctic. Hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre video. Today, we have new exclusive screenshots and gameplay from the Texas Chainsaw pre-release event that happened a couple days ago now. So some of these new things we're going to be taking a look at are more outfits for the victims and Leatherface, exclusive gameplay clips of the map variants, such as the Family House map at night, as well as the gas station map at night. We're also going to be taking a look at some cool in-game unlockables that you can unlock while playing the game and much more. So let's go over these new exclusives and i'll be breaking down some of these screenshots to give you a better understanding if you don't know about it already now be sure to subscribe ring the bell so you don't miss anything on texas chainsaw massacre let's get it all right before we get started most of these screenshots if not all came from a must over on twitter sorry if i mispronounce your name but thank you and shout out to him so first up let's start with something small we have a look here at the character select screen so there's five victims and five family members you can choose from and it also shows when someone selects a character that character will be unavailable to you because there can only be one connie or anna in a match at a time so you will have to pick someone else if your character is picked first then in the middle here it shows the character's description and attributes if you're wondering what the these attributes are they are from top to bottom toughness endurance strength proficiency and stealth and so all victims have these same attributes but each victim excels at a certain attribute for example we got julie here she's the best victim for stealth with 35 points but her strength is weenie hut junior level with 15 points and so another victim will excel in strength but will lack stealth you know what i'm saying all these victims will have different amount of points in each attribute pretty much and also same goes for the family members one thing i should say is that you can actually level up each individual character and then add points to any attributes you want don't know exactly how this works right now but i think you'll get attribute points for leveling up each character then you can go down to a specific attribute like strength for example and then you can level up that just a little bit more last thing i want to talk about in this picture is on the top right of the screen so that 12 i have no idea what that is but maybe some of you guys may know but what i think it is i think it's your overall account level and under that will be your gamer tag or username and then under your gamer tag is some xp in this case it says 7350 out of 29,000. and i'm assuming this xp is for the overall account level but again i'm not sure but then under the xp we have what looks like to be some type of currency i think it looks like they have 220 tree coins or whatever you want to call it and also this same icon is over here next to julie's level it says zero out of two and so i'm just trying to put the puzzle pieces together here and so what i'm thinking is that you spend two of your tree coins on julie and then it'll level julie up to the next level and each time you level up that character the cost the cost amount of the tree coins will go up kind of like how evil dead the game does it if you know what i'm talking about but hey i'm just speculating here i could be a bajillion percent wrong so let me know down below what you guys think this might be all right moving on there are collectibles that you can unlock don't know how to unlock them but maybe by completing specific tasks like escape the family house map at night 25 times or something like that you know what i'm saying but there looks like to be 167 collectibles as of right now and this is pretty cool this will take you back to the past and show you the behind the scenes and i'm sure if you click on one of these collectibles it'll give you a bunch of information for that specific behind the scene and this is just a nice touch to the game gun interactive usually does this because they've done this in their friday the 13th game with like the jarvis tapes and the other tapes as a fun way to unlock collectibles and just learn more about the game so yeah if you want to learn more about the original movie while playing playing the game there you go you gotta unlock some collectibles first all right next up we have new outfits to show i showed leland's outfits in the previous video so check that out if you want to see his outfits but today we have anna here and she of course has the original outfit ocean forest fields and beach and we do have the second page for her as well which shows off the desert outfit and her last outfit is meadow next up we have sunny's outfits and he's looking pretty spiffy with his outfits so of course we have the original then juice sunny storm and lemonade and as for sunny's second page we do have a look at him but we don't have the names for them again he's looking spiffy and he's gonna be looking spiffy while breaking leatherface's ankles you know what i'm saying but speaking of a second page for outfits we now have the second page for connie and also a clearer look at her first page she has original winter spring fall and flowers and as for her second page she has cherry and chevrons i do be liking all these new outfits and i know these are just kind of just like recolors of the same outfits but guys this is just the beginning i'm sure each character will have different outfits in the future but let me know down below which outfit is your favorite so far for your favorite victim but that's not all moving on we have Leatherface's outfits next. He only has three fits as of right now, and they are the Killing Mask outfit, which is his original one, and then the Pretty Woman Leatherface outfit, 
and then the old lady Leatherface outfits. I'm excited for the future of Leatherface's outfits because they can make original outfits that have never been seen before. Uh, they can do something crazy and nuts like make a baby Leatherface outfit. That would just be creepy and disturbing to be honest. Like imagine Leatherface with like a bib in his mouth or something or whatever those baby sucking things are called and just like with the tight squeezed in baby outfit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Actually think about it. I do not want that in the game. But moving on another cool thing about this screenshot is that there are weapon cosmetics as you can see right here sadly we don't have a screenshot of any of the weapon cosmetics but hey at least we know we can change the look of the chainsaw now maybe it'll change like the color of the chainsaw or add blood to the chainsaw or make the chainsaw look more rusty i don't know i have no idea but it's cool to know that there are weapon cosmetics yo what if they have like a fire one like just the blade part of the chainsaw is on fire yo that'll be a sick one for savini leather face but we all know that's not happening really quick another thing about all these victims and family members outfits is that i don't think they will all be unlocked right away so i'm pretty sure you will have to do a little bit of leveling up and unlocking these outfits all right so lastly we have new gameplay clips of the new map variants here and if you didn't know really quick there's three maps and each of those maps will have two different types of variants so the family house map you can play during dawn and night the slaughterhouse you can play during the day and dusk and the gas station map you can play during the night and day and this one is the family house map at night so enjoy this really quick That's all we have of it and I think it looks really cool but maybe just a little bit too bright for it being nighttime but I get it it's probably because they don't want to make the map too dark or it'll be way too hard to see victims or the killers and here's a quick gameplay snippet of the gas station map at night Alright, that's it for this video. Go ahead and leave all your thoughts and comments down below about anything in this video. What was your favorite outfits for the victims? What was your favorite outfit for Leatherface? How do you guys think that leveling system will work with that tree currency thing? And also, what do you guys think about the family house map at night? Do you think it's too bright? Do you think it's perfect? Let me know everything down below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if this video helped you out or if you're excited about Texas Chainsaw Massacre coming out really soon in August 18th. And of course, subscribe and ring that bell icon so you're notified every time we upload anything brand new about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So